Welcome back. In this third video about Frida, I want to demonstrate you how Frida CodeShare works. So the name already says it. CodeShare is a repository of shared scripts by the community you can easily use with Frida. So let's go to the website. So the website codeshare.frida.re is this website. You can connect via GitHub if you want and also create your own project to share your own code. But let's go to browse code. And now you can see projects listed by popularity. So the first script, universal Android SSL pinning bypass is very popular second one also has the same purpose that one we also going to use in a bit and is not limited to android there are also scripts for ios because you can use frida with android ios and also with other systems so let's see how we can use this on an android device so let's do a small example with an ssl pinning bypass script so we can download the app of x former twitter of course and then we install this app on our android device we configure burp to intercept the network traffic so if you didn't follow this lesson yet about intercepting network traffic with burp suite please follow this workbook first and then we're going to use frida with an additional parameter to load this specific script so let's do this on the vm so again make sure you have an android device connected in my case a mobile hacking lab device and on the vm i'm connected over vpn and also via adb i'm connected with this device and also burp is listening on the vpn ip address in my case 10.11.3.2 so now we are ready to download and install an app so if you have a rooted device without the play store then you can use apk mirror for example you should be careful with this type of websites but let's pick an app like x twitter and then easiest is to download and install the apk file which is available here so after you have an apk file then just do adb install then the name of the packets in the meantime we can already look into this script frida multiple unpinning so if you open a script then in frida code share it already tells you how to run this script so frida minus minus code share then the name of this script minus f your binary is one of the options so this script starts with java perform and in this case it tries different options with different SSL libraries. So OK HTTP 3 certificate pinner, for example, is a common library. And then it tries to bypass it. And then it might return nothing or it might return true depending on the library. So this is, for example, a different library called TrustKit. So what this script does, it just tries to find specific libraries for SSL and then it overloads the function and then it returns true or nothing. So this is in short what this script does. Let's open this Twitter app and we trying to use it. But then we get some errors, something went wrong. If we click on create an account and let's verify what is happening in Burp. Well, nothing you would think in the HTTP history, but in the event log, we encounter some errors. So in this case, the proxy client failed to negotiate the TLS connection to api.twitter.com and also to some different URL ending with t.co. So this is probably the reason why the Twitter app is not working well. And to fix this, we are going to use this Frida script. So this is an instruction about how to run it. So if you go back to the VM, make sure you run Frida server as explained in the previous exercise. Then start with Frida PS minus U USB applications then you can see this com.twitter.android.x application is running with this process id and this command might be a little bit incomplete because we are missing the minus u flag and minus f is to spawn a binary but in this case i'm going to change it a little bit because i got errors earlier with spawning so i will just attach it with minus p to this existing process so now first time you might also get a warning if you want to trust this script but i run this script before and now the script is already executing and this script also says found the unusual obfuscated pinner okay http3 certificate pinner blah 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 so this might already indicate that it's working now let's test this on the app so let's see if we can create an account now we needed to click twice apparently but now we are already in the second screen probably the frida script bypassed already something and indeed in the login you can see bypassing trust manager implementation for dc blah blah, blah dot t dot co and in the http request history we also get these requests. Sometimes it's even encrypted in the body, but in this case, apparently the response is not encrypted. 
probably we are able to complete this whole process now if we want. So in this case, you can see all the requests now from api.twitter.com and all other domains. But this was it for Frida Code Share. I hope you would also like to try this. In the workbook, we also have more detailed instructions. But in short, you can just go to Frida Code Share and try if you can run a script similar to what I did with the X app and with the SSL and pinning bypass. So hope to see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.